Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. It's uh, 6 a.m. here, Saturday. What is the date today? 17th of September, here in wintry feeling Kahuna, Victoria, Australia. Outside, it's overcast, it's been raining, it's been doing that for about six months, it feels like. This winter has just been bloody terrible for the weather. Um, we normally get about 300 mils of rain uh, every year here, so it's, it's a pretty dry place. And, well, for the last, this, this winter, it's just been bloody terrible. Morning, Kathy. Morning, Mike. Mike James in the house. Nope. That's an unusual name. I haven't seen that one here before. Nomad Outdoor Adventures and Travel Show. That's obviously a YouTube channel. G'day, guys. Thanks for joining and Jason Stevenson. This guy's on, I reckon, I reckon every time we do a live stream. And you know, I see him on, I think I see him on Twitter. I think I see him on, what's that What's that new social media that, that we've been playing with now? I've got to go look at the phone now because I don't bloody know. I don't remember what it's called. Vero. I've, I've got Instagram in my head. Sarah had some... Some, some issues yesterday with her Instagram reels. She's getting into reels on Instagram for her um, uh, her, her Windella Farm page and been putting out lots of reels. I've been recording a few reels for her and she's just been mashing them all together in Instagram. And yesterday it was just shitting itself left, right and centre. And um, that's why Instagram is on my head. But Vero, I haven't been really using social media that much, to be honest. Um, I've, I've kind of lost all faith in Instagram, as you guys are probably well aware, but Vero it seems to be. I enjoy going through what's on there. Um, today we're talking about the fourteen. Uh, we'll have a talk about the fourteen range a little bit, I guess. Um, we'll talk about whether you should buy one or not. I'm curious. Just throw something in the comments here if you are an iPhone user and you think you're going to be upgrading to the fourteen. Uh, let me know what you have currently and what you think you're going to get because um, we've got a. We've got a few um, things we will throw at you guys. I've got Greg McMillan coming on here very shortly, so we'll do that. Um, we'll go through a few little updates of some apps that is coming. I'm, I'm testing them at the moment, and they're pretty bloody good. Um, and we'll probably go through some photos in the Bloody Legends Facebook group because we haven't done that for a while. Anyway, we'll bring bring this fella on. Morning, afternoon, evening. I don't even know what time it is where you are. But anyway, it morning, is Greg. afternoon. Hey, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? Well, I've had three hours of sleep, and I do have a face like a excited blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it, this was uh, the day for me. It was. Well, it is. It's, it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I look at what what's going on as I look at you there, and I go, "You look like the podcaster formerly known as Prince." With all the purple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I I well imagine everybody can can guess what uh, color I got. <laughs> you got the black one, right? <laughs> oh, is it, are you going to switch the screen? Oh, hey. I could hardly tell you're holding anything. It matched your shirt perfectly. Doesn't it though? <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, the, the lighting is not the best, but I mean, yeah, it's uh, it is the purple, deep purple. Yep. Hence, deep hence purple. my display name. Yeah. Are we going to be able to convince? Oh no, Mike James Andrew. to. <laughs> are we going to be able to convince my James to buy another iPhone? Um. Yes. <laughs> 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 you you don't mean I love spending other people's money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Whoa. don't think he will. I think he'll say, Look who doesn't want to get booted out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll say, <coughs> I think he'll be saying, uh, uh, next year, he'll be saying next year a lot. Next fine, yes, next so year. People, people might talk about, um, uh, 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 the, the three times zoom is still a three times zoom, and he'll be going, Oh, we'll get a 10 times zoom in the iPhone 18. That's what Patrico will say. Yeah, I need to get him back on here. He's an absolute pisser. He's a good fun to have. Oh, yeah, fun to have yeah, on. that was a good episode. Yeah. That's interesting. 13 Pro Max and waiting for the 15. 
<clears throat> upgrade to 14 Pro Max from the 12 Max mainly. Yep. Yep. I get that. Thanos. I don't know what that is. Do you know what he's talking oh, about the there? purple. Thanos is purple in the Avengers. Or in oh, the Marvel so Universe. I'm, I don't I don't know. I only know that because I saw the movie and I don't really watch Marvel anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, him, Dave and I, we message each other a fair bit on um, a, a reasonable amount on, on, on Instagram. And I'm normally on, on the level with what he's talking about. And then when he throws that out, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? I've got no Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of comments. Come. I had 13 Pro Max and I sold it. What are you getting though? What have you got? Let's speed up this. Let, let, I don't know what that means. Super Judy Zach, this guy, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the sort of things that, uh, um, uh, Zach says and in, in the comments that he makes and stuff, but when this guy's got something to say, it's very rare that I go, no, I disagree. He's, he's a pretty cluey guy. He makes some very good points. Very good points. All yeah, over the well, place. that point that point he's making there, uh, yes, she did mock the 14 for being similar to the 13, but because it is. The 14, yep. not the 14 Pro, but just the 14 is yep. very similar to, like it's got the chipset from the 13 Pro, but it's yep. got the design of the 13. So, hmm. yeah, I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> what you and I were saying just before we went live is, um, yeah, I think if you go and put iOS 16 onto a phone in the last, any phone really, from the last probably two generations, 12, 13 at least, it's mm-hmm. going to be, ba- oh, it's going to be basically a 14, right? You're not going to get, why would you, why would you go and buy a 14 if you had one of those there that you're just a simple iOS update and yeah. Yeah, yeah, the line is pretty blurred between the 13 and the 14. Now, yeah. you know, it's yeah. when you get to the pro phones, that's that's when you see some differences. Hmm. This is the most disturbing comment that I've ever heard from um, this fellow, which I actually have a lot. Oh, not wrong guy. It must have went up a little bit. Sorry, sorry, Carl. Wasn't going to take the piss out of you there. <laughs> <laughs> Mike James, just even saying sexy is just, huh? What now? <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen, we need to bring him on here at some point again. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and did did you look at that? Look at this guy with his with his camera switching. And it has the always on display. Mm-hmm. You can see reflect reflection of everything in here. It's so shiny. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone else is probably looking at uh, uh, looking at this going. Um, uh, how come his desk is so clean? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, have, I so, haven't got anything set up for a second camera today, um, but I'll I'll um, I'll put because I sent a photo to Greg just before we got on um, talking about because I'm like how clean your bloody desk is it's crazy, and uh, then I sent him a photo of mine. <laughs> it's it's not nearly like that. Not nearly as clean as what his is. Um, can I share that? Can I share that? I think I can share that. There we go. Yep. Not clean at all. In fact, <laughs> you can even see me holding the the camera up, the photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, let's keep going through these. I guess the iPhone 15 will give... You're probably right. You're probably right. But I doubt it. In, in, yeah, it's one of those things that every every time that we start talking, like every time that the phone, a new phone has come out, within days of that, everyone seems yeah, to talk about the rumor the next, mill. What's yeah. the next one going to be? Yeah, yeah. And, I don't know. It's to me, it's just wishful thinking. I think I've made it pretty clear so many times. I don't think anyone makes a perfect phone yet. I think it's um um. The, the like the for me like the the smooth operation from an iPhone and the reliability from an iPhone and then the camera system from like the Huawei's with all the stuff that they've got built into it there's so many things and you just kind of go yeah that would be awesome if that was all 
just like that, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, you got the 14 Pro Max. So you got rid of the 13. Zach's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to keep up with these comments. I'm, I'm, they're getting away on me. We're talking about uh, just too much shit, mate, which is what, well, what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you end up getting on to Dave? I forgot to ask you. Uh, he said he could be available about five if we're still going. Okay, okay. So what's that, four where you are now, is it? Yeah, it's like 4.12 here now, so. Okay. Well, if we're still talking shit, Dave, come on in. Um, I only dream, no, but nice here about, it is. Oh, he's watching. Is he? Yeah. Is he there? Is he? Oh, he's there. Hey, thanks, dude. Thanks for the coffee. It's been it's been ages. Since. He's a Canadian fella too. He's up near Canadian. Your place. Okay, yeah. we're in Canada. Yeah, where we is it? I don't know. We'll just apologize on the upfront, eh? <laughs> yeah. Even from the UK, guys, 12 Pro is being sold. Yep. Seems to be the case. Uh, I heard that camera quality is being improved. Really? I actually haven't put 16 on my 13 Pro Max. I don't know how it would be better. I'm not sure. What I what we'll talk about the we haven't even talked spoken about the iPhone 14 camera yet. Just there's so many comments. Uh, the light. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he has seen the light. He has seen the light, and it's pretty funny. Like he, he so Scott's one of the uh, admins on the Facebook group. So we have a. Um, uh, like a, a private chat on the the uh, for a, a Facebook chat, um, for for Scott, myself, and Devo, and oh, yeah. he um, he's like, oh, I think I might do this. Then the, the, the next thing you know, there's a photo of a of an iPhone. I was like, hold on, there's an iPhone. What are you doing? <laughs> you, you bought an <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> and the sporting, he said, how, how many times do you have to double tap the power button to bring up the camera instead of gets Apple Pay instead? <laughs> the cushions come from the. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> from the <Android. laughs> Double click it. There's the camera. <laughs> it's a learning curve, and for you, it's very steep. <laughs> uh, always on display. What's that? That's when your um your headphones don't work properly, Patrika. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, always on display. That's locked. It's it's locked right there. Hey, can you tilt that down a little bit? Tilt tilt it forward, forward, and then come back this way. Hey, there's me. See how long this takes. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> when I fake it, here we go. Now, I, I don't want to take the piss out of Rod because he takes some amazing photos. Oh, yeah, He's definitely. probably one of the best uh, astro photographers in that group. He does a bloody good job, and it's consistent. Every time he does yeah. it, it's, it's, a, it's a bloody good photo. So I don't want to take the piss out of him too much, but... How often do you actually use that Zoom, Ron? I'm curious. But every time that we talk about the iPhone doesn't have more than three times Zoom, how often do you actually use that 10 times Zoom? Besides that time of the month where the moon's full and everyone wants to take a photo of the moon, um, how often do you actually use I am genuinely curious. And how how often do you go beyond that 10 times Zoom mm -hmm. um, to see stuff just get blurred out and a little bit cruddy? I'm curious. Uh, can we get to the part where you discuss what hype is all about and worth upgrades? We will. <laughs> if, if this is the first time that you've watched one of our live streams, this is generally how it goes. <laughs> and I will say I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to be honest, looking forward more to... Really? All I've heard is rumor about the Pixel 7. The Pixel 6 kind of did it for me. Um, it would want to be something pretty magnificent with the seven for me to go and get one. This, this has been, uh, and I've said it before, this has been the biggest disappointment for me as far as phones go ever. But as a phone, I don't find it to be remotely reliable as a camera. It's less than what I expected it to be in saying that it is only as it's, it's from a camera's point of view for astrophotography, at least it's, it's as good as the 4A that I had. And I don't think that was worth the upgrade to be honest. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, that's just my opinion. And but 
means just my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about that. Um, the Astro mode. I think that the one of the good things about the iPhone is that that, that it's just simple. That like you you the night mode, you put it on a tripod, thirty seconds, off it goes. I am curious, and I don't know yet. Um, uh, so I don't actually have mine yet. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Greg obviously has his. Um, but to put it onto a tripod, I'm thinking we're shooting Pro Raw. Pro Raw in a 14 Pros is going to give us a 48 megapixel photo, but it bins when it's dark. So I don't know what I'm actually going to get when we start doing some astrophotography with this thing. It'll be mm -hmm. interesting. If we're still here, Dave, come on down. I'm not sure if uh, Greg sent you the link, but we'll... But I will. <laughs> All Canadians know each other as much as Australians know each other. <laughs> the, um, uh, when, when, when I meet people and they, they, they hear something that I might say and they go, oh, are you in the army? Or, yeah. or even when I was in the army, people would go, oh, do you know my brother? He's in the army. His name's Dave. I said, really? He's got short haircuts. He wear a camouflage uniform. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a big company. <laughs> I guess the general disappointment again from Apple is when they admittedly refuse to push the boundaries of their own device to see what's happening there. But yeah. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Can you argue with that? No. Um, and can, there you go. He's probably just coming to your place for coffee, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Manitoba. Is yeah, there anywhere near you? The next province over. And for, okay. from where I live, it would be about a 24-hour drive, 24-hour drive. That's just to the Manitoba border. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a big-ass wow. country. It's a big-ass country. Yeah. Big-ass or big-ass? Do you say ass or big ass? Big-ass. Big-ass. Right. There you go. <clears throat> uh, when are you going to do some astrophotography when the, well, when there's no cloud? And when I have a 14 Pro Max in my hot little hand. So my, I, I ordered mine the, the, so there's different ways you can order phones here, just like anywhere else in, in the world, I'm sure. You can order directly from Apple, um, which for me, the, the, the process that I went through when I got my um, Mac Studio, um, I, I ordered a new iMac and it was literally months and they kept on putting back the days and days and days and days and days and days. And that just kind of soured my whole opinion on buying from Apple directly. I'm not saying that's going to happen to anyone, but anyone else, but um, it, it was at the point where I could hardly even edit videos and stuff. It, my, my Mac was dying. I needed a new one and they just kept on putting it back and putting it back and putting it back. <clears throat> so I ended up going to like a, a, a big box store here. That was Harvey Norman. Um, they do computers and homewares and that sort of stuff. And I just went there and bought a Mac studio and walked out with it. And that's what I'm running here right now. And with, with all the phones that I've bought since starting this channel, I've just gone to JB Hi-Fi and either pre-ordered it through JB Hi-Fi and the pre-order works exactly the same way it does with Apple. So you order it and they ship it the day before the, um, yeah. Um, the official release day. So in theory, if you're in a metropolitan area, you'll get it on on the release day. Uh, I'm not in a metropolitan area. I'm way the hell out in the middle of freaking nowhere. So it'll probably be on my door here, hopefully Monday, Tuesday. And even the forecast at this point for Monday, Tuesday, looks like shite. So we shall just see. Um, if the, the Milky Way at the moment, the moon phase at the moment is just sensational. We, we should be able to get some really good photos, but the cloud needs to be elsewhere. So as soon as yeah. I've got it, and uh, you guarantee it, you'll be seeing it here as soon as I can. And I don't think I can even try it tonight because we're clouded over here right now too. Yeah, okay. Use a lot more more 10 than 3 gives me a unique perspective. That's because you're a unique person, Patrika. <laughs> 23, okay. Well, that's a massive upgrade for you, Mike. From memory, he's using like... Um, the FE or something? Yeah, FE. FE tw yeah. 20 or something like 20, that. Yeah. 20 FE, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Excited to see how well the iPhone Pro Raw performs. 
Me too. Me too. Yeah. Hey. Hey, look who's in the house. Here we go. There we go. If he says it's 12 megapixel only, I believe him. I'm going to share that um, test flight that you sent me soon, Mario. Um, if you don't want me to do that, you better let me know. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Shane and Greg to argue over even longer versus reflex versus re explosive. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> you, 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 you're such a hostile person from a Canadian, aren't you? <laughs> He's Canadian, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. He's probably 24 hours from you as well, is he? Uh, oh, a lot show. more than that. Oh. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. That the Google lens. Oh, wow, that's that's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thought to do that sort of thing. That's very cool. Uh, like wildlife. Ah. Do you, when you say wildlife, is any of that birds? Because I remember um, having conversations with um, Scott Baker about um, photographing birds with the zoom on the S twenty one. I want to say. And every bird that I've taken photos of with the Samsung phones, once you go into the digital realm, it just turns to shit. It doesn't quite take a photo of a bird. It takes a photo of a blurry object that, you know, in a dark alleyway at 100 metres might be mistaken for a bird. So I'm curious. Do you shoot with – do you shoot – do you photograph birds? I've always got to reword how I say that. Yeah. Do you shoot birds? <laughs> <laughs> but, Oh, Pierre, it's good to see you, Ian. Uh, move from a current 12 Pro Max. Yeah, I think it will be a significant upgrade from a from a 12 Pro Max. As uh, one who has just done that, um, and only seeing samples online of what other people have shot with the 14 Pro, um, from a for, from a photographer's perspective, yes, it is definitely. Mm-hmm. A good upgrade. Yep. Um, yep. And you know what? There's a lot of people saying from the 13 Pro, not so much. But with the 13 Pro, you're not getting 48 megapixels in a yep. Pro RAW image. So, yep. I mean, it just depends on how bad you want to get those larger files. Hmm. Yep. The, um, here, here in my hometown, we've got a, an art gallery here. And I've run a few exhibitions over the years that I've been here with different photo, like astrophotography and stuff. And the last time that I ran, that I actually had a, an exhibition running in there, I had um, probably three, maybe four photos from a phone um, and blow, blew them up as, as, as posters. Like they weren't great quality, but it was more about um, the, the, the image that it was, like reflection images of the cat and stuff like that. It was, it was more artsy than photo quality um and uh once i saw that this this 48 megapixel was coming with pro raw i thought i can see an exhibition in my in my near future with just phone photography i reckon it'd be yeah something something definitely on the card something that's in 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 my mind to do um it's possible to stack and get any image good. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that any any camera at the moment is going to have good enough um, telescope. You'd need to you put like. it on a telescope. You're going to need to be on a telescope, yeah. Yeah. He cussed. I don't remember him. I don't remember that. Just say sorry, mate. You know you want to say sorry. You don't know what you did, but you want to say sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happens, mate. And I reckon that's happened every time whenever I've bought a new lens for for, for like DSR or mirrorless. And I go, yeah, I can't wait to try this out. It's cloudy for weeks until the new moon comes and then it opens up nicely. And it's like a full moon, but no cloud. It's just it's just it's just like taunting me at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> There's clouds everywhere. Is anywhere in the world not got clouds? Is you're you're in Canada. Mario's mm-hmm. Germany, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's cloudy everywhere. That's it. It's all finished. What story did you get for go for Greg? Was it big? Yep. Yeah, what did you get? I got two fifty six gigabyte. Uh, same as my twelve Pro, and mm-hmm. same as my ten S that I have too. Um, yep. 
I don't, I, I won't be shooting 48 megapixel a lot. I'm going to be very selective because those files can be anywhere from 40 to 90 megabytes, depending on what, you know, what the subject matter is, you know, yep. you, you take a picture of just a blue sky with a bird in it. It might even be 30, but you get a lot of leaves on trees, a lot of detail. The, 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 the size of the file just goes way up. So yeah, yeah I'll be, I'll yeah. be very selective on what I, what I use it for. Hmm. For sure. Um, I got the same one, actually. Yeah, I did. I, I was I yeah. was looking at the, the one terabyte <clears throat> phone here is like nearly three grand. I just can't. Wow. I just, no, just can't. Um, the, well, you're not going to shoot 13, ProRes anyway. No. No, no. Uh, it's only because um, I was only, oh, this one here, the 13 Pro Max, is only, uh, uh, was it, one, one, 128? One, 128, yeah. And um, I'm only just at the point now where that's becoming an issue, like just now in probably the last oh, couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah. And that's only because of the the second channel that we're doing a lot of video for. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm recording a lot of that on the phone. <clears throat> um, so I, I went to 256. I just can't see me filling it, um, to, to be quite frank. But, yeah. Now, uh, another uh, quick little tidbit about uh, this issue with storage size and all that stuff. On the I don't know about the 13s, but on the 14s, the um, ProRes will only shoot in 1080p on a 128 gigabyte phone. You That's need right. a 256 or higher to be able to go 4K. Yep. Yep. So Absolutely. if there's any video buffs out there looking to get this phone, you uh, keep that in mind if you want to use ProRes. Yep. I to <laughs> See what I said before about this bloke? Totally agree with what you just said. He's blushing. Uh, you know, that that again, though, Shane, goes to the 90-90 rule. The Apple pleases 90% of the people 90% of the time. Yeah. So absolutely. they're not going to put an Astro mode specifically in for 10% of the people that are going to use it 10% right. of the time. But it, it would be it'd be 90% of people watching this, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all they need. You don't come here to watch people talk about taking photos of flowers. Actually, and you know, no, that's, that's why they true. didn't. That's not true because Greg's here. He takes photos of flowers. That that uh, that's why they didn't mention astrophotography in the uh, announcement. Because but they've never. Uh, they've, I don't think they've ever mentioned it. Um, no, but I mean, they wouldn't even say you could use this for astrophotography and blah 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 because it's just not what the masses do, right? It's it's mm. a, it's a niche thing. Sure. Why do why do Pixel still have it on their phone? Probably just to be different and have a bit of an edge. Mm. The bleeding edge. Yeah. Uh, I bought an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Should I? I'm going to say don't do anything yet. Wait until wait until someone at least tests it. Um, all the photos that I've seen so far are amazing. Nice, bright, sharp and crisp outdoor daytime photos. I haven't seen a single Astro photo from the 14 Pro Max yet, um, so I can't say. I wouldn't do it just yet, though. Um, yeah, this I'd hold whole, off. Yeah, that, that, what do they call it? A photonic? Isn't photonic engine. Photonic? Yeah. Who, who knows what that's going to do? Um, the way that um, David Addison, he just like rears his head down and says, Burr! and goes away again. It's, <laughs> But what he lays down when he's putting it out there, it's it's like, yeah, that's that's some good shit there, Dave. I, I, I dig what you're saying, man. But then he's, he's on a get... holiday right now too. That's why he's not here. <clears throat> yeah, in Romania. Do they have internet in Romania? Not very good, apparently. Is that I, where the I, from? I texted might, and asked might, him if he might... was going to come on and uh, join the uh, the chat, and he uh, his internet's just terrible where he is. Uh, that explains why Patrick is angry all the time. He's really yeah. <laughs> so many apps now moving to subscription-based purchases. I'm kind of torn with that. I think that um, with apps, it's such it's 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 a it's a broad sort of it's it's a massive market, and it's a it's it's a massive amount of people that will potentially buy your stuff. 
Um, but if a one-off purchase of two or three dollars is not going to keep you in business for long, um, I, I get it from both points of view, from the consumer and from the developer. And from a developer, um, and, and I work with a couple, and I'll tell you now, if they were doing a one-off purchase all the time and me sitting here going, I really would like to have this in that app, they wouldn't have the money to sit there or the drive to sit there when there's no money coming in from subscriptions to do that sort of development. I see it from both points of view. I, I, I think it's... I think at the end of the day that the consumer wins even on a subscription service because the money's still going to the developer. If the developer is a, credit, a, credit, a credible sort of group or person, they're going to keep on developing that, that app and making it work with the new phones, putting new, um, putting new features into the apps. We're talking about photography apps here, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, I see it from both points of view. Um, but my, my stance on apps have always been along the lines of this is this when I bought this 13 Pro Max, this was a $1,800 phone. And if I'm going to sit here bitching and whinging about paying $4 for an app, <laughs> you need your head read. So I kind of see what, what are your thoughts, Greg? I, I see it from both points, points of view. Um, I was sorry, I was, I was kind of reading comments here. So what were we, what well, were was you the reading this one? Or... Well, that did catch my eye. <laughs> I just Morning, wife. Pop it's just a bit pop up there. <laughs> so, your thoughts on uh, subscription versus the one oh, payment? Right. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> if there's something that you are going to use a lot and use it all the time, as long as this, as long as the subscription price isn't too bad. I, I have no issues with with you know supporting the developer that way, but I also think that the developer should offer a one time purchase, even if it's you know a little hefty. Mm-hmm. Like I've paid thirty forty dollars for a one time purchase for apps before, just because I'm going to use yep. them all the time. Absolutely. And rather than go through the subscription model, that's that's how I prefer to do it. And. Uh, and it works out fine for me. Um, I mean, it would be like, you know, it, it might be the value of, of a year or two of prescription, but in a one lump sum, bang, you're done and you get all the updates. Um, mm. But I, th- I think that's uh, a fair business model. And um, yeah. I mean, I certainly understand why developers want to put subscriptions out there. It's to keep, you know, keep the lights on. It pays for the shoes. It, it You know, it, it's, it's their living in in most cases and uh you know people have to understand that that's that's what it takes so as long like i say as long as it's not too hefty then i'm I'm okay with it and it has to be something that that you know you're going to use a lot before you want to pay absolutely yeah and if you okay so look at filmic pro for instance i paid 30 40 whatever dollars it was for the the best you can get in filmic pro and so now I'm grandfathered in when they do go subscription. Um, and hopefully that doesn't change. If it does, then I don't use it enough to pay for the subscription, but I do like to have it in my arsenal for, you know, if I want to use it, at least at this point, I can use it and use it to its fullest. Um, yeah. It's just, uh, you know, as long as things work out, uh, for the best for the developer and for the consumer, then I guess it's not so bad. Realistically, uh, an app developer who charges a a reasonably high subscription service, if they're not coming through with the goods, they're not going to stay in business. It's yeah, Yeah, as simple as that. There's apps like like photo pills, for example, that, that, that that was an expensive app, but I use that on pretty much every nighttime photo shoot that I do. So to me, it just makes sense. If you're, if you're doing, <clears throat> if you're taking the sort of photos that, that, that I do here on this channel, it, to me, it's a no brainer. Go and get photo pills. It, it, insane. And mm-hmm. it was like, I don't know what it's worth now, but it, back then, and I'm talking probably seven or eight years ago, I bought that for 16 bucks. It was a one-off purchase. Um, and those guys, because it's a more expensive app, 
and it's a very good app. It does what it's meant to do every bloody time. Um, it just makes sense for them to 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 do that one off fee for that because there's so many people still buying that. It's it's such a good app for all sorts of photography. Um, yeah, but to 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 prove the point that I'm making here, like e- even longer, and yeah, Mario's in here. Um, they um, they are well. He, he is constantly upgrading this thing, and th- there are things. And I, I talk with Mario often enough that. Um, he knows the sort of things that people are asking me about different apps and, and I give him that feedback. It's the same with um, like reflex. I talk to those guys often enough. And when people would in the comments, like people say, oh, I want this to be the case or I want this or this, or even the Facebook groups and, <clears throat> and people making those sorts of comments, I'll give that feedback to them um, whether I think it's a great idea or not, but that's what people want. But yeah. I've, I found that generally speaking that, with with even longer, people were after um, more manual control. I think even David Addison, when when he did his reviews on that app, uh, he was saying, "I want manual controls. There's no manual controls." Well, because you're paying a subscription service to a, uh, this is a perfect example of what we're talking about here. You're paying that subscription service to even longer. Mario sits there making improvements right now. I'll show you that enough. You see that? that this is, is on nice. um, test flight now. And you can see there, ISO, we can change the ISO, the shutter speed, we can change the shutter speed. Mm-hmm. He's got full manual controls on this app right now. In, and I'm, I haven't tested it yet but because the sky's just been shithouse. But he's doing it. Like the guy is investing his time doing yeah, that yeah. because we're paying that subscription service. It just makes sense. It's a no To me, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Anyway, holy moly, there's a lot of comments here. Did, did I strike a nerve somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, oh, right. Look! Look at this guy living in the 1990s, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, <laughs> absolutely. I think I that was it. That was in a video I did not that long ago. The, and I wrote a blog a, post about it too. You did. Um, I did. The, uh, the the this this photo was. It, I reckon it would have been someone from the the legends bloody legends community that they put a photo there. It was from a an S twenty one, I reckon it was, or maybe S twenty two. But it was a ripper photo. It was this bloody good astro photo. And God, this guy got smashed by it. But by, by, by some of the comments, it was like, "Why are you doing that with a camera?" And, and the group was budget. Astrophotography for budget or budget astrophotography, something worded like that. And, oh, yeah. and the rule around it was you couldn't spend any more than $2,000 on your gear. Well, that's your phone. Yeah. Why not? And it was a ripper photo. But they really hammered this guy. I thought, you bunch of assholes. Anyway, I've said it. Camera well. snobs. <laughs> yeah. And I won't say sorry for that. Not even to you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, I can't argue yep. that either. It costs a hundred dollars to go in. from one level to the next. Yeah, yep. Um, oh, there's, we're, we're not that big a group there, Mike. And when people yeah, look at we're like, big the, enough, the, we're big <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, when you see if if they are watching this right now and they go, look at the guy who's asking that they need to ask us for an opinion. Look at look at what he's wearing. He looks like Darth Vader in his little icon. <laughs> sunglasses, his mask. Yeah, so he's ready he for it. This guy seriously, he is. Uh, it's is this this? Uh, yeah. This is the new feature on the 14s, and I wouldn't say it's a niche. I would say it's a feature that could save your bloody life at some hmm. point. Your you bloody know, life. Like, you, you, just to interrupt you there for a minute, Craig. Do you use bloody in your daily conversations? Do you say Sometimes. bloody a lot now? Sometimes. Did you be did you before this all kicked off? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's funny. Sorry, right, go on. But but you know, it's 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 not a feature that you could just you know, hey, I'm going to make a satellite call. 
uh, it's it's reserved for when you are stranded in the middle of some place where you have no cell signal, and um, and it's not it's not like you could just dial a number. There's a, a process you have to go through where um, you you start the feature, you hook up to a satellite, and you actually have to point your phone to keep that tracking that satellite, or you'll lose it. And then there's a, a, a set of questions that, that you'll have to uh, basically just tap on an answer, like a multiple choice question. Um, or, or if you do get um, SMS going, th then they ask you in the, in, the, in the keynote, they said, keep it simple. Like, don't say, yeah, I'm stuck out in, the, in Ayers Rock and I can't get uh, a cell signal and blah, blah, blah. You know, just say broken ankle. And then they'll say, um, you know, whatever. They'll ask you questions. They want basic, small answers. But there, when you first fire the app up, I think there's things like uh, it'll say, are you hurt? Or, um, you know, do you have life-threatening injuries or whatever? I, I don't know what they'll be, but, you know, it, there's a process to go through for this feature to, to use this feature. So I don't think it's a niche product. I think it's, it's a, a it's a life-saving feature that they've added and it, it's you get it for two years free once you buy the phone and they haven't said anything about what it's going to cost after that for a subscription but um you know if, if you live in a place or you go to places where you're going to lose your signal a lot it's it's you could be you'll be glad you have it yeah yeah <clears throat> um <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the in that group chat that I was telling you about before with the admins on the Facebook group, this every time that I watch the the big guys review these phones, I kind of cringe when they go. The low light capabilities are awesome. They take a photo that's like six stars. It's like send me the freaking phone, and I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's Scott Baker's like, but it's low light. It's not astrophotography. It's very different. I'm like, don't care. It's more amazing if you send it to someone who can do what I can do. It doesn't mean it has to be me. Like, just get out from where you are, travel to the freaking desert or whatever, and take some amazing photos away from some light pollution. Uh, but what they can do currently is pretty bloody amazing. It's so much more amazing than yeah. taking a photo of, of a street in Manchester with some stars in the sky, like two or three stars. It's like, get out there and do some stuff. I think it's uh, – well, the iPhone – before I started doing this, who would have thought that the iPhone could do what we're doing? Who would have thought that the iPhone oh, can capture the galactic core? Like, I, I tried it with it my XS Max and it massively failed like immediately. I, I knew it wasn't going to work. Yep. Yep. So I don't know. Every time that I, the new phones come out, I kind of go just not me necessarily, but send it to someone who can take good photos of the night sky. <laughs> it, it, it would help you sell the damn thing. Anyway. I move on. Uh, Is that oh, all? This guy, still in the still in nineteen ninety. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Jeez, SD cards go in your drone. That's where they go. <laughs> Absolutely agree about majority focus. We can agree. I tend to agree. It's him again. I didn't actually <laughs> yeah. see who it was. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not sure if I've ever seen. Sarah and Zach at the same time in the same place because maybe she's out there typing under this alias of Super Judy Zach and going, ah. I know what he thinks about this. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but there was so much. Uh, it was the only one I've ever watched. I've never watched a, a, a like an Apple like presentation or whatever it was called. Um, I've never watched one before, and it was so much pomp and marketing and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's. Yeah, There's thought, a ton of marketing in there. Yeah. I'm sick of listening about a freaking watch. Show us what the camera's going to do. And then I did. I was like, oh, 48. Yeah. Yes. But the rest of us, oh. Um, hey, Canadians, heading up. Well, it's not Superior. But... There we go. There's a few Canadians on North here. North Shore of Lake Superior? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> well, I've never been up there, so I really can't answer that. But uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I got to mute for a second. I would say Greg would be the best opportunity. <laughs> Greg, it's turning out that Greg can't help by the sounds of it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Thunder Bay is probably the biggest city up there, but uh, you're going to get a lot of shots of tundra and things like that. I, I, mm -hmm. I really don't know. 
that's pretty much what what I said, I think, with Mario's stuff, what Mario's saying there. Uh, he's probably in the mountains to signal. What are we talking about here? Oh, this is we're talking about Dave Addison. These 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 uh, comments uh, are old. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not keeping up with them. <laughs> <clears throat> Currently used an A7 III. That thing is a star eating camera. That is an amazing camera. It's, it's it's the same as what I have right there. It's it's it is it is by far the best camera de- mirrorless in this case that I've ever ever used for astrophotography. It's just bloody awesome. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely love it. That was probably in that comment is probably in um, um, in response to the social media phones aren't real cameras comments. I know astrophotography is a niche, but for the majority, how hard could it be to copy the pixel? Um, turns out it is hard. Um, I, I would say, well, just just wait, just wait and see what this this photonic engine is going to pull out i don't yeah. i don't know um they did mention that oh, did astrophotography they? yeah they did mention it they just said you know the low light capabilities would be great for this great for that and even astrophotography and, and, and then bang it was gone like it was oh, okay. it was so quickly mentioned in a sentence but they never put any emphasis on it um no no one has no one has done the stacking, um, and I don't know why. <clears throat> I it think, could be uh, a uh, patented process. Um, well, not necessarily. Um, the, the the there's 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 computer based stacking um, programs that will do exactly that. There's a there's one there yeah. for the um, uh, the Android <laughs> phones that that's there now. Um, so yeah, well. Is- it's hard to say. Maybe sure. maybe Apple's just not interested in it right now. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're coming out with things now that they should have come out with years ago, but they just wait and wait and wait and like the always on display. Why didn't why couldn't they have done yep. this with the twelves even? Yeah. But no, they yeah. they wait. Can't, I can't argue with that. Um, <laughs> Devo, welcome to the party. So Devo's the other admin on the facebook group um and was it on a live stream i can't remember where he said that my voice is on his videos because he's he has a youtube channel i think yeah. it's a gaming channel yeah and yeah you know, like yeah you my sent voice me is one. on your videos that's weird yeah. and i went and listened to it and it's just like Demo. <laughs> 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 <It's pretty cool. laughs> uh, <clears throat> we should probably talk about this bloody phone that you bought eh? Because we've only been talking for like 50 minutes and we haven't really spoken too much about the phone that you bought. Have you done much? Um, you've only just, you're still, are you still transferring the apps? Is that what you're still doing? Uh, it's probably, looks like it's pretty much done. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do I think that the uh, 48 megapixel will be compatible to the 108? Okay. So my question to that is, does the 108 megapixel sensor put out a 108 megapixel photo? Or file, <clears throat> or is it? Is no, it I, I didn't actually binning. test that. Oh, I don't it think it's being binned. Um, I don't know if you remember the 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 photo when I had photos up on the wall here behind me. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that there. See that there? This the is this is up. our. That's our. That's our weather just absolutely messing with me because that's a sunny morning. <laughs> yeah. There's no cloud out there. By tonight it'll Come be night time, cloud. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> But I, do you remember I had um, a heap of photos mm-hmm. on the wall here behind me? And one of them was a poster. It was an AO size poster. So it was yep. huge print. And the quality on that, right up nice and close to it, was bloody perfect. And that was from the 108 megapixel on the S21, I think it was. So I don't think that was binned because the detail was just so fine. It was It was really high resolution. There's a hundred percent chance. Who's drinking scotch? Are you drinking scotch? That's what they're wondering. They're wondering what's in my cup. Just because I think I said that earlier. This here. What's on the other side of it? 
<laughs> it's your cup, mate. You should know. I know. I, for, I forgot that was on the other side of the DMV. I, for, <laughs> I was looking at it like, that looks familiar. Why does that look... <laughs> <laughs> well just just to uh to, to clear this up i do not drink any alcohol of any form uh haven't had any alcohol for that. probably 15 20 years <laughs> yeah just yeah. just no interest in it anymore how's this bike i haven't seen him on here yeah it's been a while for a long time it's good to have you here um getting a 14 pro oh I had no idea you were getting that. See, I, I always thought, and I reckon Zach was always an Android guy. Yeah. I don't think anyone is, well, I don't think Apple has done. Um, <laughs> I just I just got a group, the group chat from. Uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll just quickly share this with you. <laughs> uh, how can I do this? I can do this this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, That's funny. That's uh. It said um. It said new guy there. Uh, oh, actually, you can't see it. It says new guy. Um. It, <clears throat> um. You can see here. It says new guy. Oh. And that's man. that's um, Scott Scott Baker. Because he was the newest one to the to the admin group there, so he, he and he's been there for like two years. He's still calling you guy. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I always thought Zach was a, a, an Android guy. I'm always certain he was an Android guy. Yeah, that's interesting. He's going to there, but I don't think Apple has ever done anything good with slow mo since they put slow mo on the camera. I don't think. Yeah, they, they, they haven't really made any changes to it. Uh, no. They have they've improved cinema or cinematic mode. Um, They've had, added the action mode. Now, the action mode apparently works best if you're running, not so much if you're walking. Right. Figure that one out. <laughs> okay. But um, uh, Jefferson Graham tried it, and he did not like it because he was walking. But uh, there was other ah. people that said that if you're running, like they show in the presentation, then apparently it works better. Why they would do that, I have no idea. So this is kind of like, well, pretty much everything that they do when they bring out a new feature, they show in the best case scenario, not not necessarily a real world scenario. Do you remember when that cinematic first came out and they had that? It was like a that well choreographed sort of and well planned out scene. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then I, I took it out to Mount Hope and they went, oh, even on my bald head with like no hair sticking out anywhere, it still kind of struggled <laughs> with the, the chrome dome sort of thing, you know. Yeah. Well, because it's trying to make your face clear, just like portrait mode, and then you know that it gets blurry as you go back. But hmm. well, I watched um, <clears throat> Peter McKinnon did. I don't know if you if you've watched it. Peter McKinnon did a video uh, for iPhone 14 Pro Max, and he shot the whole thing on the iPhone, the whole thing, the whole video, and all of his um, like his a a roll, like his his like head talking head sort of part of the video. Yeah. 100% of that was um, uh, in cinematic mode. And to be honest, I thought it looked, it looked like AI. It looked like one of those deep fake videos. That's what it looked like. And these and, guys that are doing this, these people that are doing these cinematic mode things, they have to realize they can adjust their, their, uh, the effect, the aperture. Yep. And that's what they need to do depending mm -hmm. on the scene. And if yep. they don't do it, it's, it's too obvious. Yep. 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 Is that thing finished doing your um, uh, 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 app transfer yet? Oh, yeah. It's all done. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, mate. Who wants to run? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Let alone run with a camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I think 24, 26 is going to suck. External lens. Mm. Okay, can I take a word on external lenses? Yeah, go. Because, first of all, I don't have a case for this to put my lenses on. But what I did try to do is when I got my Struman macro lens, it came with a clip thing, right? 
Yep. And these lenses stick out so far that I tried to put one over the camera. And no matter what camera I tried to put it on, this thing switched to another camera. Uh, yeah. Now that's in the <laughs> Apple camera. That's in the Apple yep. camera. Now, I, had I used like Reflex or Halide or one of these manual <clears> cameras, <throat> I'm sure it would it would be fine. <laughs> but I just haven't had time to try it. Um, you know, so, so for people that are yep. watching, I basically got this thing about an hour and a half before we come on. And I, I did the uh, transfer thing with the two phones and um, down, downloaded everything from iCloud. It was so seamless that it's just like I've got two identical phones now, the way in appearance mm -hmm. and, and apps and everything and settings and all that stuff. But uh, so I haven't had time to really play around with it and try things. But I, but real quickly, I did put my Struman macro on and, and I, I think the Struman is going to work better than any other one at this point because the Struman lens I have has the focus ring. So yeah. if there's any difference in the physics in these cameras, compared to my 12 Pro Max, that will adjust to accommodate that difference in physics. And mm -hmm. I'll still be able to use the lens. But, uh, you know, give me time to play around with it and I'll, I'll see what happens. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's the only time I think that um, those clip-on things are, are, are worth anything is right now whilst you don't have a case. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I I don't know. Maybe you have better luck with it than I do. But I, those clip-on things, I just I kind of think they suck. Well, I I got one for a moment when I first got my 12 Pro Max because I didn't have yep. a case for it yet, and yep. it was junk. I just I quit using it. Yeah. Yeah. Now the one I got from Struman is a lot better quality. It's better built. It's better designed. But the cameras are so massive on this thing compared to the 12 Pro Max. Like, yeah. That's right. Yep. Like, look at the difference in the size of those camera lenses. Yeah, wow. mm. But Greg, it's yes, not sir. the size that like really. It's not what you got. It's what you do with it. I know. <laughs> and you know what I'll say to that? That's yes. what she said. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> aye, aye, aye. The, um... <laughs> so I was just saying that look at that. It's the... I'm telling you, him and I are the same person. Yeah. Oh, well, I agree pretty too. Pretty much yeah. what I said. Yeah. Um, I remember, well, Struman sent me roughly the same time that they sent that to you, that macro lens that you use. They sent me a, like a wide, a wide angle cinematic or something they call it, um, to do astrophotography with. And I just could not do any astro with it unless you used a no. third party app. And, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place there. The the third party apps are good for star trails, but they're not. As, you can do like galactic core shots with them, but they're not nearly as good as um, the the camera app, like the, the the night mode on a tripod, thirty seconds, let it take its you know, ten seconds and stack them. None of them are as good as that. Um, so every time I put this lens on to um, the 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 13 Pro, I think it was the 13 Pro, the, the LiDAR was picking up that there was something right there, trying to switch to macro, switching lenses. And it was just, it was a bloody nightmare. It didn't work. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not really sure what the solution is to that. I think it's it's going to, because the 12 didn't do it. The 12, <clears throat> you, you put a lens on there and you could take an Astro shot with the 12 with an external lens. It worked just fine. The 13 mm -hmm. just didn't. Don't know what the 14 is going to do, but by the sounds of it, it's going to do the same thing. Don't know. Um, imagine that a company showing a product's best feature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, in Lewis, Scotland, been using 13 Pro. You got two bloody good phones there that are going to do a good job of, of doing what we're talking about here. Can you recommend a good macro lenses? What do you reckon, Greg? You're the macro man. Um. I well, I mean, the reflex is a good, really good one. Uh, I have the long range macro from them, it, it, it's really, really good. And um, the Struman Optics uh, cinematic macro that has the, the focus ring in it 
it's it's very good too like it, they're both right on par the only difference is with the struman you can you can go from long range to really close up with that focus ring you know it gives you that flexibility yeah but i mean okay. you know reflex struman um sand mark is good moment because of their mount that they use that bayonet mount yep. it's different than everybody else and the uh the, the parts that they make that go in to this part here <clears throat> i just don't think they're as good as they could be and i've, I've i don't know they i've veered away from moment i haven't used my moment macro for quite a while i think um when it comes to those sorts of lenses, like you, your, your Struman is a, it'll be a 17 mil screwing mount. Yeah, same as the um, Reflex, yeah. Same as Reflex, same as Moment. Same as Sandmark. Oh, so, sorry, not Moment, same as Sandmark. And, yeah. and I look at that and I go, well, maybe maybe their, their macro uh, that you've got, because it's got that focus ring, that would be the best macro. And yep. maybe um, Sandmark's. Um, anamorphic lens is the best anamorphic lens and maybe reflexes uh, uh, um, telephoto macro is the best one. Actually, I think it's the only one of those, isn't it? Um, so well, maybe reflex has, have... an, uh, has an anamorphic too. No, no, I mean the, 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 the zoom, not the zoom, but the, the telephoto, the telephoto? Oh, yeah. macro I'm talking about. Like the oh, the long macro, range macro. Long, the long range, range macro. macro. I'm pretty sure they're the only ones who have that. Um, but say you wanted that one from that company, that one from that company, that one from that company, you can use them all in the same case. Yes. yes. Whereas the moment shot themselves in the foot thinking maybe they thought, yeah, we're, we're the ducks nuts as far as lenses go. People are going to yeah. use our gear. It's probably hurt them a little bit, I'd say. I would yeah. say. Oh, Beast Grip as well, yeah, according to Zach. I didn't know they made lenses. Um, no. Uh, well, it is deactivatable, like the, the macro part. <clears throat> yeah, it and, was off when I first started using this thing. I had to turn it on yeah. to try it. Yeah. Not with the macro with lens, but... Yeah. When I was doing that with the, the wide-angle lens, I thought, oh, it's it's that macro. This is before you could turn it off and on. But when that came out, that, that update came out where you could turn the macro off and turn it on, it made no difference at all. It still automatically swapped. So Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to have company in a minute. Uh, oh, excellent. Super. We're going to disagree here, Zach. Um, <clears throat> in that, uh, I remember on the 12, 12 Pro Max, I was using the wide angle. I did a video with the wide angle sand mark, and I caught, I'm going to say, an extra 25% of the night sky and didn't lose any detail at all. I could get that wider field of view by using that wide angle lens on the same aperture of the primary lens on the iPhone that worked really, really well. Unfortunately, I can't do it on any phone since then, but on that phone, it, it worked really well. Um, Scott Baker pulling out the disappointments. He'll be, mm -hmm. he'll be apologizing for that soon enough, the Canadian and all that. Yeah. Yep. This should. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, oh, that's what we're just talking about. Sorry. I think you've answered that pretty well, mate. Yeah. With your the the the, um, the Struman one. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes, yeah, that exists. I that's, think. Well, they're more like a lifestyle company now, and yeah. I've, you know, I've I've said before that they used to be really good at one thing, and now they're trying to do trying to be really good at a bunch of different things, and it ain't working yep. out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> it's funny. It's um in in most things that I deal with in life with um with business and stuff like that. It's and especially YouTube. It's so it's it's amazing how often uh, I can relate YouTube stuff to people's businesses when we talk about in, in town I'm talking about. And and the more niche I the more niche I am on this channel, the better the channel performs. It's when I go, you know what, it's been freaking cloudy. I'm gonna do a video <laughs> on how to take photos of ants. It's gonna be a really bad performing video. Um so I've kind of just if 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 
if um, if the the sky isn't playing well enough for me for me to continue to do what I regularly do, I'm just not going to shoot a video. I'm just not yeah. going to. And it's yeah. going to wait. Um, and, and and it's the same similar sort of thing with what we're talking about here with moment. Like they were very 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 good at doing the mobile enters, and then they went cool. Let's make some bags and jumpers and hats and socks and skateboards or whatever yeah. the hell else they're doing now. Shit like, that we stuff. don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> as, as mobile photographers yeah so that, that, that core audience core customer base that they had and they're probably they, they're probably saying exactly what you're saying now like we yeah. don't give a shit about that yes um killed the moat i think because of the optics oh yeah, sure okay i'm thinking why are you saying that it's pretty hard um when when um when Reflex sent me that the, the suite of all their lenses, and and I remember I walked all over Mount Hope a couple of times, and I was like, "How can I use this? How can I use this? How can I use this?" And for the thirteen, it was like, "Would I get this white? Probably not. Don't need it. Would I get? Probably not. Don't need it." And I think I ended mm-hmm. up going, "Well, that that um, that that uh, zoom macro. What, what did you call it before? I forget. Long range." Long range macro, yeah. that's that's the duck's nuts. That's that's fantastic. There's nothing that the iPhone can do that comes close to what that can do. And and there was only there was that and um, maybe the fisheye maybe or maybe the telephoto when you put the telephoto onto the telephoto onto the zoom lens and it oh, gave yeah, you that yeah. extra bit of range. Yeah. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> I wouldn't be inclined to buy any of them um, because the camera just does it. And I think what Dave's saying there is on the money, like the. The, yep. the the camera system on the thirteen kind of killed that for for most lens manufacturers. They, they just do a really good job. Yeah. No. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> on all on, on all the uh, I'll probably end up doing a a short video on on that. There's two things I think with this um, the new iPhone that I haven't even got mine yet. But just from what I've seen, I'm disappointed in it. Doesn't have a bloody USB C charger and like come on um everyone's got to carry another bloody charger another cable with them when all the rest of the shit that you've got is usbc um yeah and that lens flare everyone that i've seen so far every video it's there you can see it it's it's as ever present as it has been forever and a day but didn't they make the new airpods pro case usbc i think they might have I know. That's what I mean. So what? Who gives a shit? People use their <laughs> iPhones a lot more than they use of the, the AirPods. <laughs> or, you know, like, I hear yep. you. I feel your pain. Hey, I think we've got another person here. We'll just quickly see what this one is. Apple can, can Apple ditch the camera grouping in the cord already? Spread those lenses out, use the larger sensors. Maybe I'm wrong. Eh. Uh, you know what? A lot of the space is for battery and, and, processors yeah. and sensors and all that stuff so i don't know i i can't see it happening mm, mm. <clears throat> absolutely that 75 millimeter that's the one i was talking about that's just yeah bloody awesome absolutely yeah. awesome it's an awesome let's bring race. on mr dave bodner hey guys. welcome sir hey, hey dave how's it going how are you chief Doing good. Oh, you make your bed, man. Jeez. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, you see, the, you see, the, you see what's in the middle of the bed too. Right yeah. in the sun being made, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got a cat. You got a cat right in the middle of the bed and using up all the sun. <laughs> <laughs> now, for, for those for those that are here that actually don't know who you are, because I bring on Macro McMillan all the bloody time, right? And I right. said to Greg the other day, I was like, we need to bring Dave on here because, like, <laughs> um. For, for those who don't know who you are, mate, like, can you tell everyone who you are? Sure, sure. Um, well, uh, probably the way that most people know me, I'm Greg's co-host for the iPhoneography podcast. And we were both on Tiny Shutter before that. Um, I do photography for fun. Um, like the last couple shots I did, they were just kind of shots that kind of caught my eye. Uh, nothing mm-hmm. over pre-planned, to be honest. Um, and they were actually out during a run. So yep. that's, that's one of the reasons I love the iPhone or mobile photography is just that, you know, I can see a photo and, nope. Oh. 
What are you doing, McMillan? I'm going to show you. Hang on. Right. So I can do that too. <laughs> Just to if anybody the heard, wall, if anybody there's heard the, the last episode <laughs> of the podcast, they will know that I firmly believe Dave took the best picture he's ever taken. And I sent it to you, Shane. It, some, I don't know if you can get it on the screen somehow, but you it's my it wallpaper. Just, it's my wallpaper. <laughs> it is absolutely, it's, it's oh. just freaking, freaking stunning. Yeah. It's just amazing. I, I, I just love it. That's awesome. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just bring this up. Uh, I'll get it over here. <clears throat> What have you been doing today, Dave? Uh, working. That's that's why I haven't been able. Oh, at my, at, at my yeah, no, at literally my work. Um, not everyone has to work till five p.m. Eastern, but yep. some of us, you know, that we kind of rotate. And today just happened to be my day for working till five on the call center. Yeah. Oh, okay. so <laughs> that's why I was able to listen in, but you know, get a call in, had to mute stuff. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that's my desktop now. And I think it's freaking awesome. <laughs> so is that a Chevy? I it's a caddy. I think it's a it, it's a it's a late fifties Cadillac. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a late fifties Cadillac. Yeah. I don't know if there was an auto show or a car cruise nearby because mm -hmm. we saw a couple other old cars on the street. And yeah. just because we get enough snow and cold and salt, they tend to eat away at older cars. You just don't yep. see a lot of them here where, you know, in warmer climates where you don't have to worry about that. You see people with older cars. Yeah, so, right. Now, my my yeah. brother-in-law actually restores um, Chevys. Mm, um, okay. it, 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 it reminds me of that. Like they're that yeah. sort of same sort of vintage, you know. Oh, yeah. Just to just to let everyone know who's looking at that, that photo that's on the screen that you guys can see is not nearly as sharp as what it is on what Greg sent me. <laughs> it's just it's going through the, the, the live streaming software. Right. But yeah. I've actually seen this before. Where where have I seen this photo? Is it on one of the groups on Facebook, is it? It is, yeah. 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 Because immediately I thought it was my brother one of my brother in law's car. He actually <laughs> uh, we used them for our wedding. Um, oh very, very oh, similar nice. looking car. And he's got, I don't know, between 20 and 30 of these things in his sheds that he does up. It's just bloody amazing. You remember that, um, you, you've probably heard about that Elvis movie that was filmed on the Gold Coast within the last couple of what, years? What, it, this this new Elvis one that just came out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. it. I watched yeah. it, yeah. Well, our wedding car is actually in that movie. Ah, oh, oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he was contacted by you know, the, the movie and because because of what he does and they asked mm -hmm. for uh, some cars and I think he's got a few in there, but uh, my sister sent me a photo, like a, a cause they must've got the, the video that the movie before it was released or something. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but she, she took a photo with her phone and was like, there's your wedding car in the movie. And that's cool. Yada, yada, yada. cool. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool photo, man. I like the color that in that. Sense. The whole thing's cool across the whole, did you edit this in what? I did. Yeah. Um, I used uh, both polar and okay. photo room. And a photo room. Yeah, photo room. Photo, yeah, photo, photo room. room. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's it's a free but with additional features subscription uh, yep. app. Okay. And the strength is it kind of pulls out the subject. Oh, I see. So yep. um, kind of what, what the new iOS 16 does, but yep. it did it before. Um, okay. Yeah, and this it, it's actually pretty good. A lot, of, it, it has even a couple of um, um, templates where you're like, oh, you have a you you want a YouTube thumbnail. Here's the uh, background. Here's the color, and here's where you can put your photo with the subject. Yeah, in right. It. You okay. know, kind kind of old fashioned. They have like old things for like old fashioned Photoshop back in the day where you wanted to put a different background or put it in like in a circle background. That's kind of plain. Yep. So, but it yeah, just right. makes it real easy and it works good. And yeah, it, yeah. it picked this out really well. So they have one where it kind of can shade the background, either black and white sepia or pick up the primary primary color. Yep. And yep. use that for the shading. I just, 
just uh, loved how it turned out that way. It yeah, worked out it well. Did. Yeah, definitely. It's on. Is it on? Is it on um, the Bloody Legends group Facebook page, uh, or is it on that, that the I iPhone? Don't know. It's definitely on the iPhone group. I don't know if I put it on the Bloody Legends, to be honest. De- definitely go and have a look at that, guys, because the, the photo that you're seeing here is not nearly as sharp and crisp as what Greg has sent me. It's It'd be worth looking at, for sure. And, and Mike James is asking, Dave, um, where the license plate would normally be. It it looks like it's... Uh, black, black, you know. no, yeah. Well, the thing is, Pennsylvania only requires it on the back. Okay, so that's the way it was. It's not something yeah. you, you did. No. No, okay. no, no. Yeah, Pennsylvania only requires, well, some states like uh, I think Ohio next to us require licensed plates on the front and the back. And Pennsylvania only 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 puts it on the back of the car. So if you yeah. have something that's made in the front, um, that it just gets blank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so car club and the owner wanted to charge me for the photo. Wow. Well, yeah, especially if people are making money off their cars, I can see that. Wow. Mm. Yeah. It's crazy. So, uh, some of those, some people are really particular about, it's, you know, in my mind, that was on the street. So you're fair game. But, exactly. if I'm going to, but if I'm going to a car cruise, which always, it was kind of hard to wrap my head around a car cruise where you're basically park cars and you're walking around there's no cruising yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> yeah I, I can see people say kind of like when you go to um uh, what is it you go to like flea markets or like art fairs yeah, type you, thing they'll say sure no, no photography <laughs> yeah it's like no well people have their their, oh. their photography up for sale or art pieces oh. will say no photography yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, look at look at this. This is awesome. So Devo's asking this question, and we don't even need to answer that because somebody else has. <laughs> Legend. Hmm. Do you guys actually know any more? Um then oh, I don't I don't use camera plus really. I don't use it as much as I used to. Yeah, when I, when I had my better. 10, when I had my 10, I used camera plus a little bit more because the stabilization was nice with the photos. So the photos turned out a little clearer, but with the 13 pro, it really doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest. Hmm. What, what, what camera, are you, what, what phone are you using? Devo. Uh, I'm, okay. not sure, I'm not sure why you would do that, to be honest with the, with the, the HDR that's in iPhones at least. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't know why you would do it. I'm curious. Um, so while the three of us are here, I might because uh, we haven't really looked through um, <clears throat> haven't really looked through photos on the Bloody Legends group for a while. Look at this. Uh, where's this light? Look at that light on my face. Yeah, the sky is just <laughs> really messing with me today. Because I moved yeah, Dave, I get, oh, if, if, you, if you caught it earlier, Dave, but he's been, Shane's been having just the worst luck trying to do astrophotography. Uh, yeah, I cloudy. heard that. I heard yeah, that. Yeah. And now it's clear as a bell. <laughs> yeah. But no new phone. With me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is, um, I'll, I'll share the screen. Um, this is probably the best photo that I've seen on the, on the Facebook group for ages with the, um, Without being oh, yeah. Astro, that's just—it's so good. I actually wow. love that. Yeah, the color, the dynamic range, and all that—that's just bloody awesome. Bloody awesome. Is there any photos here that you guys would like to look at? I'll, I'll go through and find some. These here were really impressive of the planes, the A10. Oh I yeah. I reckon this was shot with um, the S21 or S22. But to get the detail in these planes is that's that's pretty impressive, I think. Well, I know you were obviously... mentioning er, you were mentioning earlier when would you use a zoom? Like this yep. or sporting events? Yep, yep. Wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, especially with yes. um, low light. In low light. Well, because I recent well. 
was it recent? Yeah, recently, within the past month, went to an indie wrestling show that was in my neighborhood. Yep. And it was outdoors. Um, hold, hold on. Did you say indie wrestling show? I said indie wrestling, professional okay, wrestling. You need to, you need to mean, unpack that now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we're talking professional wrestling, similar to right. WWF, AEW, those groups. But it was right. a, it, but it was run by local Pittsburgh group. Okay. So it was an independent yep. group. Yep. Okay. So they, it was on a ball field. It was and on what? It was on a ball, baseball field. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So just a grass field. They put a ring in the middle of the field. They had lights up. Fair for, and That's it was crazy. just in the middle of the field. <laughs> and I got, pre, you can get pretty close, especially for these small events, but yep. it started at, seven o'clock and went to around nine thirty. So okay. in the beginning it was no problem, even with the digital zoom, because you can get close enough and it was bright enough. It was a nice clear day. But yep. once the sun went down, all you had were the lights that were around the field. So the zoom the zoom made it look really crunchy. Ah yeah right. Eh? Yeah. I'm with you. So uh, uh I can see people also having issues if you go to um, uh, concerts or, you know, like if you go into a kid's con concert, if you have a kid going to your school concert or something like that, mm -hmm. where you're halfway back, you're trying to get a picture of them or video and the lights. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm honestly, I'm, uh, I didn't really think they were going to have a periscope zoom on this iPhone. I'm hoping mm -hmm. next year. I'm hoping next year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, even with the the Samsung, like this is just me personally. I get what you're yeah. saying. Absolutely get it. I personally just haven't used it. So when I was asking before about who uses it, it was a genuine question because oh, yeah. I've just never found the need for it. Um, but what you're saying there makes perfect sense. And the planes, if you were to be super critical of these, I'll just put that back up. Well, I mean. But the, the, hey, you guys are God. Where did you go? <laughs> the um the focus on these is it's focused probably, but there's clearly a lot of computational oh yeah elements going on here. Like we, you can't really tell on the live stream, but on the Facebook group you can definitely see it. There's a lot of artifacts going on with the clouds. Like it's only very small that you can't really see it on the live stream, but you definitely can on on the um the Facebook photos there. You may be able to see that. All that that's just crazy good, isn't it? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm being is. super critical in that from a photography point of view, that could be sharper, but then you go, that's from a phone. That's crazy good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so impressive. Yeah. So impressive. Zach's asking, um, I don't know what photos are yours, Zach. How can I find what photos are yours, Zach? Uh, if I go here, pretty sure that's him. That's not your photo. <laughs> yeah. They're not your photo. That's not. <laughs> I'll say good. Good luck on Facebook. Um, <clears throat> Facebook on the search, search, which is horrible. That's my photo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There you go. That's one of his. Okay. Well, I've got nothing really to add to that. It looks okay. There's a. It's a hard photo to take, to be honest. With yeah. so much. The torch that he's got is obviously very bright. What did he take that with? 21 Ultra. Yeah, it looks like there's a few stars in there, but not. Yeah, there's definitely you know, stars in it. I mean, oh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the torch kind of blows everything away. Well, like here. I said, it's it's a hard. <clears throat> I mean, I only see, this... a, I see a little bit of flare on the far. I'm assuming, I don't know. Is that a star or flare on the far right in red? In the red? That's a, that's a light. Like okay. a cell tower light or something. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What what I would say to this here is that see all the all the I'll put my cursor over here, so right? Um all this grass is moving. Yeah. It's obviously yeah. a windier night. And yeah. this is an LED light, I would say, LED torch of some sort. When you've got wind that's going through trees and wind that's going through grass and you're trying to achieve this sort of shot, the best way to do it is with a strobe, not a constant light because the strobe will freeze all of the action that's in the photo. Yeah. Um, that will that will get over 
what's going on here as far as the movement in the grass is concerned. Um, not sure what other photos he's got here. Uh, it's time lapse. He is, is this where you live, Zach? Are you in the middle of like freaking nowhere? <laughs> you should be taking some awesome. That's my photo. Why, why, <laughs> why, why does, why does Facebook search like bring my things up? You well, he's probably sharing it. That's what, <laughs> yeah, or, or, or because comment, he commented or on, comment on it. Yeah, Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, true. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming this is you, Zach, looking at the the photos that are on here. That was the same machine, I think, as his little icon there. Uh, no, it looks like the same it? as his um his profile photo down on the oh, okay on the last oh, okay room. okay. Yeah. Oh yeah! Look at those tires, man. There's some sand yeah, tires. There. That Jeez. looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> wow! I haven't done that. It's a cool photo. Years. I like that. <clears throat> Do we have any more? More of the same. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the whole desaturate and leave one color up, but. Each their own. I get why people do it. It's just not my thing. I mean, so I went to um, cool. before. I don't know what these little stacks of rocks are called. Um, but um, when I was in um, New Zealand before, well, it was probably like four years ago now. These were everywhere. Everywhere I went to take like long exposure photos. These little stacks of rock. Tourists must put them up everywhere. There was one place that I went to, Blue Pools, it's called, and all the water is so blue. It's just, it's amazing. In the in the rainforest, it's, it was an incredible place. But there was one place, there's just rocks everywhere, but there would have been a hundred stacks of these rocks. You could hardly even walk amongst all of them. They're just everywhere. Um, <laughs> you would hurt yourself, Greg, if you, with those motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I play in the desert but live in Northern California. Mm. Out in the desert, man, I reckon if, you, if you're camping out there, and I'm assuming that you are, you'd be getting some bloody good astro shots out there, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, just just like these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I about to say, especially in Nevada where, you know, you're in the desert and if you're far away from cities, there's nothing going on. Yeah. Yep. And, it, and it's bone dry. Yep. Nice and clear. Yeah. Oh, these are cool. I've got nothing really to add to those. The first one there was probably a little bit, the light that was here was on for too long, I would say. It's a bit too blown out. If it was, if you were to do this again, I would like shine that. This must be, I'm guessing here that he's put a torch or something inside the vehicle shining up. But I would say have that on somehow less time than what you've got it on there or bring it down in, in in intensity and probably light underneath it because you've got all these can you see it on there yeah all these like gnarly details with the shocks and the springs mm -hmm. you want to light under here somehow that's just what in my head that's what I'll, I'll be doing um i'll go back to all these other photos we picked on zach for long enough <laughs> what else we got going on here Dale. Oh, yeah. Through have the you guys blinds. done much? Uh, yeah, it's he's, he's blind. <laughs> he's, he's got that broken hopper, isn't he? You can't get around. Can't get around. Yeah, um, <laughs> his leg. Yeah. <laughs> I've just never heard it called that before. That's a good one. Oh, <laughs> it's just, it's it's an Aussie thing to say, mate. Yeah. Fair it, the <laughs> The colors that, that I think, and I think I've said this before, is that the color that you get from the star trails from even longer is probably the best. But yeah, the color that's in that wow. is just ridiculous. And yeah, I would almost go as to say that he probably hasn't edited this. And if he has, it wouldn't be by much. Like that's, that's the sort of color you just get out of that app. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is. Um, these are kind of cool. Oh, it's Ron. Yeah. 
here he is uh, demonstrating why that zoom is so impressive because that's a that must be a long way away that building from where he's taking this photo. That's sure looks like it. going on and bringing that moon <clears throat> closer, therefore bigger. That's yeah. mm -hmm. that's very cool. I like that. Moon photos, moon photos. <laughs> that's kind of cool. What's that taking? Yeah. Thirteen Pro Ooh. Max. Hey. No, I was looking for an app. Oh, oh. where it's like reflex or uh... even longer. Doesn't say there. No. That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> I remember when, when he posted <laughs> these on there. <laughs> and I first looked and was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then I saw saw who it was and I thought, I bet he I bet these things are in his freezer now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> <clears throat> and that. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Mm. The, the best thing about um, the weather here at the moment is uh, because because it's all, like, all overcast and crappy. Like today, I've got a, I'm shooting a wedding this afternoon. And yesterday, I went out to the rehearsal, and it absolutely pissed down rain. Oh. And it's an outdoor wedding. I'm like, you know, the forecast oh, no. is for like this tomorrow, right? <laughs> but just before sunset, oh man, the lighting was just amazing because it was all mm. overcast. It was like a little split in the cloud. It was letting through just the right amount of light. Hopefully, it's like that this afternoon because it'll be some pretty bloody good uh, um, uh, lighting for, for wedding photography. Recently got real photography lights before. I would just use a friend's phone. Hey, that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Um, oh, Dale. Hey, uh, what, what's in the house? <laughs> hey, Kirk. <laughs> Kirk Hammond in the house. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say <laughs> Uh, slight edits to ensure contrast between sky. Yep. It is. It's a bloody awesome app. How's that leg going, dude? How long until you're up and about again and taking photos from outside of your bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I reckon how long we've been going. Holy moly, we've been going for an hour and a half. Uh, yep. we've, we've, we've probably done this to death. Is there any more that you want to add, Greg, about um, the iPhone before you just like let me go so I can go and play with my new toy? <laughs> Ah, uh, so I haven't done anything to try Dynamic Island yet. Um, but as far as the cameras go, um, I'm I'm just curious to try out, you know, reflex and and I would use some I, I would use even longer tonight for some star trails, but there's clouds, so that's out. Um, yeah, I just want to start playing around with the apps that I was using before and, and see how they mm -hmm. compare and, and whatnot. Um, uh, a buddy of mine, he's got a 12 pro max. We're going to go out. <clears throat> I think it's next weekend and uh, do some stuff to compare and whatnot. I mean, I could compare with mine, but I mean, uh, it's better just to get out with somebody and enjoy it. Um, yep. uh, but you know, I, I don't, I really wish I could say more about it right now other than, you know, the cameras are huge compared to before. Yeah. And, uh, um, I mean, I can go on about what the reviewers are saying, but, uh, one yeah. thing, one thing I, I want to point people to is Austin Mann's, um, review that he did yeah. in Scotland. And he put a picture in that blog post for go to austinman.com. You'll find it. And, um, he put a picture in there, from the 48 megapixel sensor of a, I guess it's a yak. And he was pretty close to it that you can actually download and, and look at it yourself. And the detail is actually quite good. Uh, but uh, I mean, he, he kind of put it through its paces a little bit, you know, but I don't think he did any full blown astrophotography with it, but he did do some night shooting and stuff. And uh, yeah, there's the link. And uh, mm -hmm. it, it's a, uh, it's a good read and that lucky bugger, he gets to take these things out before they get released and try them out. <laughs> a, a boat takes about a boat. A boot. It was, it was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a boat. <laughs> I'll, I'll be interested to see what you say about um, the macro mode on this thing. Cause that was something else that one of the reviewers highlighted saying it was better. It's sharper. 
it, so I'll, I'll be interested to see what you say about it. The one, it's, the one sample photo they showed during the presentation looked like it was going to be better than yeah. before. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'll have to try it out and, and see. Yep. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, especially since was, you didn't have the uh, built-in macro <clears throat> from the right. twelve. Yeah. Like they had from last uh, year with yeah, the thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at this yeah, point, so. um, I, I haven't tried. The, the, cl the clip on l lens over the camera using uh, an app like Reflex or something where I can actually physically manually select the lens. But yep. uh, Dave, I was saying earlier when I tried it in the Apple camera app, mm -hmm. I, I put my finger over this one and it jumps to another one. I put no matter yep. what camera I put my finger over, it would jump to another one. Yeah, so, that doesn't that doesn't shock me to be honest. Yeah. So you know what? That when because I did see yeah. someone post. Um, someone who went from the thirteen to fourteen and showing the camera size difference. Yeah, and how, yeah. how 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 not only bigger but thicker it is. Yeah, there's yeah, okay. there's the difference in the. Yeah. Let me oh. make sure I can see it here. Oh. The t the twelve and the fourteen. Yeah. So they're considerably bigger. And as far as the. Uh, I got the, the bump, case the on bump, no. the bump, Yeah, the bump is significantly bigger, though. Oh, yeah. Get this off here. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had that sitting there waiting for you to talk about that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, wow. The way. Oh, it's, it's on the opposite side, obviously, so it's going to be bigger anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the best way to uh, show these is, but well, yeah, there we that. go. Yeah, that's what Greg Scratchy's lenses. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's almost twice as tall. I'm trying yeah. to get it. The anyway. thirteen was a, a a big jump as well. Like, yeah, you've got the thirteen, haven't you, Dave? Yeah, yeah, and I went, well, I went even, from, even I like... went from a ten to, I went from a ten to a thirteen. Yeah, right. Yep. So but that you know the camera is, bump on the thirteen is is huge as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't notice it because of the case I have on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because the case yeah. makes it, yeah. which is good when I dropped it out my window trying <laughs> to do a time lapse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I was trying to do a time lapse. I thought we were going to have storms coming in, so yep. I open up the window. I open up the the screen. I put the camera down to keep it steady. Yep. And it was like, eh, I guess it's not going to work. And instead of my hand grabbing around and pulling it out, I misjudged it. And then uh -oh. and right underneath the window is my driveway. So oh, no. it's a good 15 foot, you know, five <laughs> meter drop yep. going. And I actually, because it was, <clears throat> it was um, because it was still taking the photo. Oh yeah, I've got two or three <laughs> shots of it going down. It's flipping, <laughs> and it landed screen down. That's gold, and no, no, and no issue at all. I mean, I can feel and, where the and, case is scuffed up, but yeah, there was the no problem. Show you your like the sky, then your head coming over, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Scott Baker? It is the best mug ever. It has brought, uh, it has brought plenty of. Uh, that's what she. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's gold. It just worked really well for what we were talking about. Uh, we'll just quickly cover this one, and then we'll sign off for him. Into my. Let's put this my. Really. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. How long have you been using this for, I wonder? Because we've only had it for like a day. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're one of those special people who they um, let let in the back. Like you, you see I just seen where she's flickered away yeah. into the special hidden room where everything's yeah. laid out for her. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when... Um, she did that video. It might have been for the twelve. 
It would have been it was either the twelve or the thirteen in saying how much better would have been the thirteen, saying it was like fifty percent better for for low light and they're at camping and it was another one of those those videos where you go, send me the freaking phone because there's like ten stars in the sky. You want to talk about <laughs> yeah. how, how good it is? Send me the damn phone. Two days, two hundred and fifty. Look at him go. Smashing it. Are you on the um Facebook group, dude? I'll be cu- curious to see the photos that you're pushing out. Anyway, <clears throat> we've spoken for long enough. Yep. We're going on nearly, this is probably the longest one we've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> we we waited we waited around just for you, Dave. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, you called you called in the reliever. You called in the reliever yeah, yeah. and come in halfway <laughs> through. <laughs> Turn the barley. All right, guys. Good to see you all. Thanks everyone for joining in. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for everybody for thanks for than me. No worries, man. It's good to have you on. I've I've, I've been on your show a couple of times, I reckon. One and time with me, one time without, just because of timing well, it, issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, we'll get on there again at some point, and we'll we'll catch up. There goes your dog behind you. Oh yeah, yeah. We got Charlie yep. coming up saying hello. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> okay. See you next All right. Time. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, everyone.